it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo on the Myers Sunshine Happiness Zoo. And what we're going to do here is just change a bit of uh, things I did in between. I added some speakers and information boards to all the uh, habitats. And also, I'm going to change, uh, add some to the exhibits in a second. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I did. I am doing this voiceover for now, and it will go back into real time in a bit. But I want to show you how I did the exhibits. Um, I just go ahead and place it outside the exhibit, and then um, just use X to get it uh, where I want it. Because obviously, um, we don't need it like super far into the middle of it. But I want to get it close enough where when you're at the little information board for the exhibits that you can be educated by the speaker as well. So you have to place this first so you can change what animal it's for and then you go back and hit X to move it around. And that way you get a little bit of, um, like I said, of education all the way around. So it works out pretty good, I think. Um, but we do have to move that other speaker because as you can see, it's kind of overlapping and we don't want that because the, the guests will not like that. So you don't need to, you don't need it to be super far in any direction. I don't think, um, just as long as when people are standing there, they get educated by it. I think that works out. And I think I mentioned it later in the video, um, or I made it, may have mentioned it in another video, but um, I didn't realize that um, all the animal's happiness also uh, gets, I guess, um, affected by how much this is inside their habitat. So if they walk through that little area that is being covered by the speaker, they also get stressed from that. So I'm trying my very best <laughs> to kind of keep that in mind when I place those now. I thought that's what was uh, messing with the cheetah's um, stress, but uh, and then I noticed that there isn't even a speaker there yet, so I don't know why they're so stressed, <laughs> but you know, it's fine, but we definitely have to deal with all these um, power and water treatments that are um, getting broken down, I think. I don't know if we have it fully um, researched yet, but we do have the ability to put in the solar panels now, so maybe that would be a better option, although solar panels break down too, so I don't know if there's like a less less of a um, occurrence on that or what, but I don't know. We'll see. So um, and we'll just see what else we can do here. Um, I do look at the crime rate, um, or not the rate, but the crime uh, graph in the zoo just to see where things are having an issue. But, yeah, we'll just go through and check. Um, I kind of want to get all these people trained up. I thought I had already done that once or twice. I think I did it once because, as you can see, they're at... Uh, level two so we'll go ahead and I like to keep the vets um, researched not researched but the level up so they can do research faster because that way we can get through this research we don't need to do all the research in this one but I would like to at least get some of the animals research done so they so that we can get better enrichments for them because then they'll be happier that way <laughs> but yeah so um, we'll go through and add in some different enrichments for some of the animals. Like I said, just to get them a little bit happier. Checking on the objectives we need to do here. Um, unfortunately I recorded this quite a while back, so I can't remember all the stuff that I did. But I do want to put in some security cameras. Um, supposedly that helps with the, um, crime rate that is in certain areas so if you do H and go to the um, negative impact you can see what has been vandalized so that's just what I start with as to where we put the security cameras and I think I only placed this one and then I just cut but um, 
there we go. So I went ahead and placed some more uh, just wherever there was crime going on. And I went ahead and got some, I think those were giraffes I got. So I could add some more species into the zoo because I think the objective, we still need to add quite a few different species to the zoo. So I tried to look for one that goes with some of the animals that we already have. And here is um, the giraffe we can put in with the zebra. I think that's one. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't have a ton of choices as far as I can tell. But uh, this uh, habitat's going to end up looking a little weird. But because uh, the zebra habitat is already pretty much not even big enough for the zebra. So that's going to be an issue. But since we have all this space behind it, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take up that space behind it. And we'll, we'll just put them in there. That'll at least give us, you know, some animals to put in. As you can see... I bought a couple of other things as well. I think one of them was we needed an Asian lion. Um, is it Asian lion? I feel like that's wrong. But anyways, we needed a lion. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this habitat expanded. Um, and then... We can just put in whatever the giraffe needs. That's what we end up putting with these zebra, with the zebra here. But we probably could go ahead and add, like the, um, the spouse, I guess, of an animal, just so they can have two. Because the social uh, need for a lot of these animals, they at least want a companion, if not more, um, more than one other animal in with them, but. You know, as long as we can get them happy enough um, and fulfill the um, requirements that we need for this career, that's pretty much all I'm looking for on these career modes, at least. Um, so I hope I hope you guys enjoy these careers. I'm really enjoying going through them and seeing what we can do. And there's always so many different ways to do these that, uh, you know, I definitely could spend, you know, forever trying to get these just right, but... And this, this habitat really does not look great. It's a weird shape, and uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but we could have definitely done something a little better. I try to just go um, as far as I possibly can. Of course, some of these trees the giraffe might not like, and the zebra. But for now, it's a start, right? So we'll go see... Um, if the giraffe is happy with that. Because <laughs> some of these animals, it says they will be good together, but sometimes they don't quite seem like they're a match, honestly. I mean, they're the same biome, but um, sometimes they just don't like as much stuff as the one, the other animal in it. But it's okay. Most of the time, they do pretty good. So we'll just get rid of the stuff that they don't like as far as the trees. Like I said, a lot of those I'm sure it doesn't like because that's the expansion. And they probably don't like any of those trees that I placed. But it's okay. And then we'll go ahead and get a shelter for the giraffe. Because the giraffes are pretty tall. So we definitely need a tall shelter. I'll just go ahead and filter it for the giraffe. And then we can, um, I think... Since it's big enough for the giraffe, I'm sure whatever other animal is in here can use it as well. Um, even though, you know, there may be a ton more. But the shelter is, like, huge. So, I thought about making my own for a second. But I'm just like, nah, we'll just, we'll just place this and hopefully that'll be good enough for them. And the guests can't see this area, I don't think. So... They might not like it so much because, um, you know, the giraffe or zebra will be back here in the shelter and not be able to be seen. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's crazy. So, oh, well, we get it done in the end, right? And um, that's all that, that really matters with these career modes. As long as you get it done, whatever way you, you did it, it's fine, right? 
and there is no like right or wrong as far as um, getting those done so it's a pretty cool and these like the first couple of, of careers I actually watched um, just to see what people did with them but now I'm kind of going in just you know doing my own thing because there are so many different ways you can do these things and I did want to say thank you for the comment Aaron B about the zebra habitat you can delete some of the uh, quote unquote trash to make the shelter better I did go ahead and just delete all of the shelter um, and now you know since we've got the big shelter for the giraffe it's not too big of a deal but that's one way you can go in and make sure they have enough area to roam around because as you can see if you go to the traversable area you can see like how much things are taking up the traversable area which is sometimes a little crazy um, it seems kind of much sometimes for them to take up that much room but I guess it's just like how big the animal is and how big the the scenery is so oh well I think they're pretty good with it now because of the expansion that we put on there and I don't know about this being so far back it seems like too far back uh, here on the fence and I also moved that one on the left up towards the uh path instead of because that base I guess you would say for the board was so far back towards that uh gate and I was like that doesn't seem right I'll just leave it here so we put another speaker in because now we have two animals in here so we want to make sure to get education for both and then again just making it as big as we can and uh, not overlapping anything and you can always you know move it around if you get you know, if you get it just right, if it was just a little bit over. <laughs> so, we can do that. And then the guests will be educated on all of the animals. And that's what we like. So, there we go. Um, I think we have the education for all the animals now. At least one education board for everything. Um, we may be missing something. Who knows? But if you do H and go to the education um, you can look to make sure that you have, you know, a little, a bit of education around each habitat and exhibit, and, uh, that works out pretty good. And then we'll put some more over here on this side, even though this goes right into the staff path, but it's okay. It's fine. So that is the end of the voiceover. So let's go back to the real time video. Okay, so let's see what we need to do now. Um, we'll go ahead. I know the cheetah needs... Uh, I think we got the cheetah, right? Quarantine pass. Yeah. I know. Lion. Did we not get a cheetah? I want to look at the lion real quick. I wonder if we can put that in with something we already have. So I'm pretty sure there's some areas that we can, you know, take over for a habitat. But we do have a cheetah. Okay. I thought we did. I was like, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Or not. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that. Let's go to... Zoopedia. And let's just do lion. There we go. No animals. Okay. Well, that's craziness. Grade 3 climb proof. Okay, so we're going to have to find a place for the lion. Let's see, do we have, okay, we do have the cheetahs ready, awesome. So, let's go ahead and put the cheetah and the orangutan in. Not in the same places. I mean, chill out, we're not going to do that. Um, I hate when it decides to not work with the Q&E, I don't know why it does that. But it does. 
All right, let's go over here. I think it's this one. Yep, let's put the cheetah in there. See, why does it say empty? There's a cheetah in here. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, let's go ahead and choose this one. Move. That one should be over here. Yes. Okay, and this one says empty too. I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's see. If we click on this, it does say orangutan in there, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and edit that. <laughs> orangutan. If I can spell it. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> So, let's see how this is going up here. Obviously, we still need to put the lion in. That one's coming. Um, let's see where we can put a lion. I don't know if we have any habitats that are that are empty, honestly. Um, let's do the heat map real quick. And we'll do animals. Okay. So we've got animals in there, we've got them in there. Got some there. Yeah, I think I think we've got everything pretty much full right now. So let's see what we want to do. Let's go ahead and get out of the heat map. Um we can add this area as a habitat right here next to the cheetah. Um, I think we'll do that. I think we'll add this area as a habitat. Let's see. We'll have to probably get rid of these trees, though. And let's let's get out of here real quick. <clears throat> let's see. Okay. Let's do this. We'll go ahead. It's all online, right? Uh, grade three climb proof. Okay, so let's go to barrier, and I would rather just go with something like these. That's great too. Or steel mesh. Mm, let's go with this one. All right. So we'll just have this go here. I don't know how much. Um, if any water that they need. Okay, I'm gonna move this. Let's put it here. We'll move it. I don't like to share the barriers because then you have to deal with the barriers breaking down and all that. And it's just, it's not cool. Let's see. Let's move this. I think we'll definitely need to get rid of some of these trees. And I may be able, I think we've got the power situation researched enough. We could probably get that, get a solar panel in instead of this power here. So let's just see. All right, I'll do that and that. All right, so this area in the front will be glass. Um, well, no, uh, window. That's what I want. Window. Yes, please. And I think I'll go ahead. No. I'll go ahead and bring this all the way around. And we'll bring it up just because we can. Alright. And then uh, let's go ahead and put a gate right here that'll work all right so that will be our lion that's not what i wanted to do that okay put the lion in here all right we'll see like i said i don't know if they'll like all those trees there but we'll see Uh, low welfare on the giraffe. 
Uh, habitat. Temperature. It's too cold. Well, now he's fine. Or she. See, I don't like that about the temperature. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I think it's underpriced. This might be too much of a, of a climb, but we'll try 16 and 20. All right. Um, we've got that. So now all we need is the uh, crime occurrence below eight, and it's already nine. So hopefully that will be good. I mean, it seems pretty good. Uh, we've got social group. I wonder if we should. Let's see. Let's do. Can we do another draft? What do we got? Uh, draft, draft, draft. Wait, did we pass it? No, that was on draft. Okay, so... We can't get another draft. That kind of stinks. I'll look one more time. Nope. Okay. That's fine. So let me check real quick on the summary. If we go here. Oh, we need to replace that. I should look to see where that was. I totally forgot. Okay, so I think maybe the um, security cameras worked a little bit. Because we were pretty high and now... We're not, so I think we did pretty good. Let's see. Uh, here. There. And let's go ahead and do that. And we'll do this and go down. Let's see if that does any good. I don't know. But I think that's going to be good. I was hoping to get to that next um, that next thing. You know what? We probably need to add some some more benches. I just thought about that. Do this because I don't think I've seen any benches here, which may be a bit of an issue. Because everybody wants to sit down every now and then, right? So put that in the corner. And these little sections, I don't think I'm going to put benches in there. Because that's just a little weird. It's going to take up a lot of room. But we definitely want to give people places to sit. Oh, that's staff. I don't want that. We'll do this. Just to give them some areas. I like to put it outside the path if we can. But sometimes I just go ahead and put it inside the path because that's what we've got to work with. Oh, that's a little weird looking, but that's okay. I could put a couple on either side of that. That works. Can I put... Ooh, I, can't. I still don't know what that noise is. Research. I really don't know. That's happened like twice and I don't know what it is. These guys will be okay once it's not snowing, I think. Oh, this guy is what we need to work on, though. I totally forgot. Uh, let's check. I really want it to stop snowing. Let's go ahead and fast forward a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they, this one doesn't like this, that, that, or those. That helps me kind of get a look at everything anyway, so let's go ahead and do normal speed. All right, so we'll go to our habitat, and let's do, before we do anything, let's get rid of that, and we'll go ahead and go down... West African lion. 
There we go. I mean, they have water here, but I'll go ahead and put a water thing for them. Right there. And we'll do a food tray large. We'll do that right there. And let's uh, call keeper. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a shelter. Um, a basic shelter here. And I think I'll just put it in the corner. Like right here. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. There we go. And I'll go ahead and put some bedding in here. There we go. Okay. So, let's click on the lion and let's see... Okay, they do have some enrichments here. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and let's just click that down a little bit. And I think that messes with the land anyway, so I don't know if that really works. Put a look. Nope, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes I hit Z instead of, or shift instead of Z. I'm like, no, that's not what I wanted. Alright, and then how about a toy enrichment? We'll do, uh, let's go to enrichments. Maybe. What are you stuck on? Enrichment. Okay. So, let's go ahead and give them a little bit of a cardboard box. And also, we'll do the marker, scent marker enrichment. There. Awesome. Okay. Alright, you guys can go away now. Okay. Um, let's see that. How about terrain? Okay. Well, let's see. They want more rock, definitely. I always say they. I mean, there's only one in here, but you know what I mean. Go ahead and put some rock in here. I need to go down. When I, I'm there and then I open up the other window and it kind of covers up everything. Uh, this is rock. Why is that not going anywhere? It's like not even moving. Um, I don't know why. Okay, let's not do that. Let's do short grass. I want short grass up here. See, that's not moving either. Why not? Why is it not moving? Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around so crazy. Uh, let's do some long grass. This doesn't seem like it's moving. I don't know. Okay, that's moving. Can I, like... I'm trying to get it where where the animal is at least a little okay with what we have. Um, long grass I'm going to put over here. Hmm. Okay, come on. Just let me get enough stuff here. I mean, there's like no... There's no pleasing you. I mean, is it because snow was here? I don't know. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's just put some heaters in. Uh, we'll put one over here. And here. What that? <clears throat> For one, just to melt the snow. Cause I really don't like the snow. See, there it goes. Okay. So it just wasn't changing because there was snow all over the ground. <laughs> Okie dokie. That I can see. How about if we just change this to rock? Over here. 
Okay. Um, I think they're gonna have too much long grass now. Oh, wait. I just moved. Go back. Okay. Need a bit more rock. So, I think what I'll do is just add some rock around where there's already some rocks laid down. Okay, cool. So, we got that. Um, you guys need to go away. Social fruit. Habitat. Enrichment. Okay. Alright. So, I think we're good with that. Let's go to the facility. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and add some boards. Uh, let's do that. Um, do I want to? No, let's not do that. I'll just add one of these. I think I'll add a couple. I'll put one over here. Do that. Um, let's see. We'll just have it about right there. I keep wanting it to be like still selected. Um, you know, and then we can you know, we can cancel it when we don't want it selected anymore, but that's that's always how I put it, you know. I, I click thinking, okay, it's still going to be there, and it's not. It's kind of annoying. But, oh well. We do have a bit of a warm area on the uh, sidewalk, which is nice. They probably like that. I say sidewalk, you know what I mean, the path. All right, so what I'll do, instead of, because I, I usually just put these in, like and make them just really wide but like i said i i wasn't paying attention that it was going to affect the animal um so we want to keep it you know kind of a small kind of a smaller circle have it go in the habitat a little bit but not much and then i'll just do let's just do control z and we'll move another one over here. Like, nope, nope, not that. Darn it. <laughs> not what I wanted to do. Uh, red, I think. There we go. Okay, now let's look at that. Alright, that should be good enough. Um, probably move it out a little bit. Okay. There we go. Awesome. So we got that going. Let's check on. We got here vet alert, uh, vet research, and let's check that. Okay, yeah, I know you're not in your ideal temperature. A lot of animals aren't. Um, let's see, temperature is too cold. Let's go ahead, uh, I'm just going to go to Habitat, Heater, and we'll go, <sighs> pooping right there, we'll go and put one there, I don't know what the zebra is going to think about this, I mean, hasn't complained about temperature that I can remember, there well, that's because this one's, okay, let's do that, there we go, that should be good, I think. All right, so we got that. Um, I think we're pretty good. Obviously, some of these animals still want a better social group, but we'll get there. And we still need to get the um, crime occurrences down. But unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to, um, wait, what's that? Is it broken? Or? Oh. If you want to uh, play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out. Come over and have some fun over there. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below. I love seeing those, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. 
And until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Oh, it's a negative impact. Okay. Uh, but I hope you have a super blessed day. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.